Asava, this is Lazy Mode, and welcome to today's video, guys. Today's video, guys, I'm gonna be going over my updated God Mode build. I have it completely maxed out, and it's gonna give you guys a better idea of what to look for, what to get, and what items you should be hunting for. That's gonna be extremely important, guys. Now, the build I have, guys, took me a lot, a lot of grinding, a lot of emerald farming, a lot of buying items, a lot of running soggy caves. But I was finally able to put it together. Now, I am and renaming this build. It's going to be called God Mode Wolverine Build. And you'll understand why. Because this thing is a monster. I'm going to be showcasing the build. I'm going to do a little bit of gameplay. I'm also going to be telling you guys exactly what items to get. I'm also going to be telling you guys where to get these items. And how I was able to get them. So, let's jump right in straight into the build. And I'll tell you guys exactly what we're going to be looking for. But before we do that, I do want to remind you guys we stream daily on Twitch. If you haven't had a chance to check us out. Twitch link is down below. Hit us with that follow so you guys don't miss exactly when we go live. Now, let's go and show you guys a little bit of gameplay. And then at the end, I'm going to show you guys the build in its entirety. I think for this particular build, guys, we're going to do the Soggy Cave. And uh, we're going to do a nice run at your power level 108. And uh, you don't have to be power 108 for this particular build. All right, guys. So here we are in Soggy Caves, guys. Soggy Caves level 108. We're going to run through this and get the job done. Now, I believe this is a pretty good one to run due to the fact that it's a short mission. And you guys be, will be able to showcase the whole the whole build. In addition to that, uh, this is where I got most of my gear. I'll explain my gear once we get there. As you guys see here, guys, we are wrecking here as much as we can. We're going to go ahead and knock these dudes out. As you guys see, we're super duper fast, super duper quick. Punching people left and right, punching people left and right, not even taking any damage at all, boys. Now, theoretically, you could skip all this, but why skip it when you can have this much fun killing them, right? As you guys see, one of the biggest, beautiful things about this particular build is you're able to dish out the damage, but you're not taking any damage at all, so which makes it really effective. You guys, I want you guys to pay close attention to a couple things. Number one, I want you to pay attention to the health bar. And number two, pay attention to the enchantments that are getting procced as we are working our way over here. And I'll explain how these enchantments work and what makes them really effective and what makes them extremely, extremely OP. So. Here we are, guys. We're going to be taking out more ads here. Bring them as, as we go. These guys with the little gifts are so annoying. Go through here. As you guys see, we're working our way towards the bridge here. We should be able to clear this bridge without a problem. Actually, I missed some guy. And you know what? We can't leave him there. And we missed a spider. Now we're in here. Soggy caves. One thing I love doing here is just running up to them and then put, hitting them with that padel right there. Easy peasy. Now, uh, you don't have to. Most of my gear is already 108, uh, 107. Uh, you don't have to have the gear maxed out because remember, the game's going to be scaling towards your level. So as long as you're able to get these items, uh, I would suggest get the items and then keep them. Uh, because they said that uh, I know a lot of stuff that's been data mined on the PC and also um, information that we got in for the new DLC. It's going to allow us to upgrade our gear. So keep the gear that you have the nice enchantments with to make sure you, um, you know, you're able to level those up when the time comes. So here we are. Let's go ahead and hit this guy real quick. I, I hate these little dudes with the little gifts. They're so annoying. Uh, we're just trying to stack up as much enemies as we can here. Hit them just a tad bit. These little blocks, oof. These are the ones that are a bit more annoying than anybody else. Okay, take these guys out right here. You see, guys, we took that big hit, but it doesn't really even matter because we're just we're just tanking everything. So, I mean, would I consider this a tank build? I mean, it is pretty, pretty tanky. But I think I can make a better tank build that's even more tankier than the one I have than this right here. So that's why I really don't consider this a tank build. I consider this mostly god mode because you'll be able to clear out almost anything. You're doing a couple things which converts it into god mode. Usually tank builds are mostly focused on being able to survive hits. Uh, this one's going to be dishing out hits. As you guys see right there, I'm doing 5,000, almost 5,000 damage right there on those hits. Which makes it extremely, extremely powerful. In addition to that... I am not taking damage. So here we go. Here we got another block. There we go. Super duper. Super duper easy. All right. Now here we go. And we're going to go this way. And uh, we're going to solve this puzzle. Hopefully we solve it really fast. All right. 20 minutes later, we solved it. We're going through, boys. Here we go. Let's get through here. 
And once we're in here, we go. Let me know, guys, if you guys want to see these uh, builds. Do you want me to show you guys fighting bosses, or you guys like me just running soggy caves? Let me know because I want to showcase the build as much as I can, where you guys can get a better idea of what the build is like. What does it feel like? I wish there was a level I could just go to and fight one boss really, really fast, because that would be pretty, pretty dope. Uh, but you know, soggy caves is pretty fun to me. There's a bunch of ads. Um, it's a really quick run. And you're able to get through it really fast. So here we go. Okay, this guy, this guy, I just laugh at him, brother. Like, you're like, why are you even trying, boy? Why are you even trying? Oh, I didn't want to throw that. Mm -mm. Okay, well, you guys see, I was able to uh, take that hit, and my health is going back really, really fast, right? Uh, so we got a bunch of these guys. So let's go ahead and get. I'm trying to get up here to uh, get these blocks here. Hit those with that smoke. Get that little mushroom, and then we should be good to go, boys. You guys see, not that much damage, not that, no, ill effect, nothing, boys. I'm just laughing at these ads as they go. And I'll explain why this build is better than uh, some builds that I've seen out there, kind of with a similar setup, but this build right here is extremely, extremely powerful. Take this dude out real fast right there. And his little babies, those little babies. They don't want any of this. Little babies don't want any of this. Come on, let me go get the little baby right here. All right, he's taken care of. Now this should open up. Hopefully we're able to solve this puzzle really quick. If not, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> here we go, boys. 20 minutes later, <laughs> we were able to solve it. He sounds funny. And those puzzles, I, I mean, know there's a sequence. It's just, I just like clicking away, brother. It's like, oof. All right, here we go. And uh, usually it's right to left. I always get it, but really good first try let's see what we got for the chest all right so we got this guy right here and we'll see what level those are in a bit i don't want to showcase it right down what levels they are due to the fact that i want to show you guys the build is an entirety they exit out of here and as you guys see that was a very simple run we i mean we could skip everything but we were able to take out every single enemy really easy really fun really effective i mean i really didn't it wasn't really challenging at all so it's super easy um, but that is what this build is about. It's about being able to be able to absorb damage, being able to deal damage, and also being able to uh, not go down due to the fact that you're always regenerating uh, your, um, you know, your health. So, which makes it really important. So let's go ahead, take a look at the build, and show you guys the build. It's an entirety. Uh, let's just see what we collect out of this chest. Really wonderful. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull up our inventory. As you guys see here, guys, we're already 108. A lot of grinding has been put into this character. Uh, we've, we've been doing a lot of work. And I believe this particular build with these pieces will make this build extremely powerful. Now, like I said, this is the updated version of my previous build. But now that I have all the items that I was trying to get, this build becomes even more powerful. So let's start off with the first thing, which are the molars. Now, there are three different unique items, plus the ones I had in my previous build, which I'll showcase you, I'll let you guys see right now, um, which are the regular uncommon and rare molars. I, I don't know, I think I might have gone into, I deleted them. I'll go double check real quick. Yeah, so the regular molars. So it has the regular molars, the ones you're able to pick up from the ground. Um, if you run that, that level, you'll be able to get them. And uh, those in particular, those are actually really good but these guys which is the reason why i'm calling this my wolverine build my god mode wolverine build is because the maulers are extremely extremely powerful i'll explain what they do so we, we're getting a lot of damage from them every hit is going to either be 569 or a thousand twenty four uh we get the increased attack speed so that means we're going to be able to punch a lot faster and we also get the relentless combo the relentless combo actually kicks in and actually does a lot of damage which is really important. Now, I know a lot of people are saying the fighting embers are better than the molars, or at least everybody's showcasing these. These, the only thing they do is they give you a boost to attack speed, so that means you're going to be able to punch faster, but that doesn't equate to more damage. And uh, I'll have a video on the uh, fighting binders uh, and uh, the uh, molars, a versus mode, a versus one. So if you guys would like to see that video, let me know, where I'll go into detail why these are better than these. I have almost very similar. Uh, very similar uh, enchantments to actually do that build video. So let me know if you guys would like to see it. So we have that. The other thing that's going to make this even better is the full metal armor. Now, there is another armor set that you're able to equip here that's kind of very similar. If you guys saw my previous video, I had the molars. I didn't have the molars and I didn't have this. Uh, so this one in particular is going to be doing a really good amount of damage. So I'll explain the one I had, which was this one. 
Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Uh, let's see. He is... Which is this one right here. Now, in my previous video, I was running another one. Very similar stats, just that this one gives us a lot more. So, we're going to be taking a look at this one. This one almost gives us 6,000 health, so it does make us really tanky. In addition to that, it's giving us a plus 30 melee damage. So, our bowlers are getting increased plus 30%. We have a 30% chance to negate hits, which is making us extremely tanky. And we have a 35% damage reduction. So we're getting the damage reduction and we have the chance to negate hits. So it's really, really powerful. And it says full metal armor is destined for the great defender of the overworld. So, I mean, I would consider this a tank build. It is kind of technically a tank build, but I, I'm calling it God mode just because you're dishing out power and you're, you know, you're able to absorb power. So definitely after having this one fully completed guys you're good to go now the arrow uh you could use anything what i would suggest is use anything that you're able to put either poison or anything that's able to pull enemies together or anything that's able to do damage over time like the fire due to the fact that you want to be able to do that uh for a lot of reasons because you want to shoot the arrow and want to make sure that arrow penetrates and by the time you get to that enemy they're already injured now, as far as artifact, guys, we are going to go with the Harvester. Love this one. Really good, especially when you get a lot of ads in your in your area. Hit them with the Harvester. You guys should be good to go. Double Mushrooms as we get double the speed and double the power. So let me show you guys one more quick thing here so you guys can see exactly how this works. So as you guys see right here, we're doing 967 damage with regular hits. Now, when our critical hit procs, we do 2,901. And then we keep going here, guys. We're going to be proccing Radiance, which is going to give us our health back. So times three, getting that critical hit damage, as you guys see here, we're getting times three. So critical hit actually procs really fast. Now, this looks really good right now. As you guys saw, we just hit 5,000. Now, if we were to proc uh, one of the mushrooms, it's going to increase how fast we're punching and how fast we're outputting that. As you guys see there, we're doing a ton of damage, hitting almost that 5,000 mark on just one particular punch hit. And there you guys have it, 5,222. Really, really powerful, really OP. I'm telling you, put this build together, try it out, give it a chance, and you guys won't regret it. Now, you could theoretically, if you don't like the most, use another weapon with very similar anointments or enchantments, which I really didn't talk too much about. But uh, the main enchantments you're looking for, especially for the melee weapon or the maulers itself, the main one you're going to be looking for is Radiance. Uh, this is going to give you the ability to heal yourself and... Uh, the other one you're looking for is Leecher. You don't have to get this one. This is mostly because I wanted to make it as tanky as possible. When you defeat an enemy, you're going to be getting health back and critical hit. Now, if for some reason you feel like you're okay with that, you just need one of these, you're able to put anything else on here that gives you more damage to output the more, more damage with your molar. So you can use anything that's going to, like sharpening or anything that's going to, you know, make your molars even more powerful. It's going to kill enemies a lot quicker. I personally like these because you get your health back, but you could definitely change either leech uh, leeching for something that's going to give you more damage. So that's going to make them even more powerful and help you clear out enemies real fast. For my uh, full metal armor, I did with, go with thorns. Now, a lot of people, uh, I don't know, they haven't tried thorns. Thorns is actually pretty good. It damages you a little bit, but you're able to take more, you're able to dish out more damage than taking. Uh, Coward Dice is definitely be the one I say it's a must have for this particular build. While you're full HP, you deal increased range and melee damage. Since we're theoretically full health every single time because we're uh, keeping our health active, that's going to be procking. And then Gravity Pulse is going to be bringing the enemies close to you so you can punch them to death. Really, really good. Really good for bossing and mobbing. And that overall covers up my build, guys. Highly recommend you guys check out my videos that are showing up right now on the screen, which is the best, uh, best enchantments and best artifact videos. And we will be having more build videos. If there's one that you want to see, like a soul build, tank build, archer build, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to put that together for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video.